Hello everyone, it's Benny, and welcome back to the Advanced Redstone Computer Tutorial. In this video, I have some interesting news. While we've been doing the series, the Circus instruction set that our CPU is designed to be using has actually been updated. And it doesn't affect our AOU all that much, so fortunately, nothing to do there, actually. What it does affect, however, is our registers because instead of needing 16, we only need 8 now. So, that's good for us. So now, as for actually building the registers, because as you may have guessed, that's where we're moving next. Well, like with the ALU, you can really go with any register system you want. It, it doesn't particularly matter. I mean, if you know how to build a deep flip-flop with a read system, you, you're set. You, <laughs> you know, it's there's not that much to it, but... For the particular system I'm going to be going for, I'm going to be going for a dual read system, which works by actually saving the value twice. Once on one side of the AOU, and once on the other side. And we're going to build one of those half dual read systems, if you get what I'm saying, right now. And the way it's going to work is just like every other register system you've imagined. Greetings. It is I, Future Benny. And I've come to tell you that I'm going to be doing the registers in the same sort of style I did the AOU, you know, it's going to be sort of more like a casual build. I'm not going to be sitting there explaining every piece of redstone I lay down. Why? Same reason as the AOU. I'm expecting, you know, basic redstone, and this really, at the end of the day, by itself is basic redstone. I mean, it's a deep flip-flop and a nor gate. I mean, yeah. I, I don't really see what there is to explain about that, but... And really, that's all I could talk about otherwise, so, yeah. I mean, you could argue that I could start the more advanced things that I want to discuss at the end of the build, which I'm going to, like register-register operations and accumulation and such. But you know, it's it's not exactly the same effect as explaining that when I'm laying down a bunch of nonsensical, unrelated redstone as it is when I'm actually there to show you what register-register operation and accumulation is, you know? Yeah. So I hope you understand that. Hope no one's bothered by that. If you are, feel free to post a comment and complain. I am open to complaints. So, but anyways, thank you, and have fun continuing on with your build, if you choose to follow. Again, another thing I want to bring up, just because you don't have to build this thing exactly like I am. An adder is an adder, a register is a register, you know, there's <laughs> there's not much more that goes into it. If you want to, if you say, you know what, screw you, Benny, your registers are as ridiculous as you are, I don't want to use them, that's fine, just use your own, it, you know, it doesn't matter. Anyways, see, see you back in the past. Well, except that it looks really, really strange, but we'll get to that. So, first off, it's... Oh yeah, it's going to be based on repeater lock, so if you're on Xbox, again, sorry, but this design probably will not work for you. So, yeah. Oh yeah, and this was invented by Mr. Guy 12345690, because Guy's just awesome like that. So, uh, yeah. And really, this is most of it right here. So, as you can see, there's the write system. This right here is going to be the read system. It's actually one of the most straightforward memory cells of all time, and it tends to confuse a lot of people. I'm not really sure why, but hey, I mean, it, it, that's, if you like being confused by this thing, that, that's your prerogative. Anyways, we have finished one single bit of this. I guess I should explain a little bit of how it works, first off. Inverted read, inverted write, so I'll go ahead and place torches there. Here's how this works. This is the input. So I'm going to write, I've written one into memory, and also inverted read, so <laughs> yeah. So I should read zero back out, because it's inverted read. So, or I could just say I'm saving inverted data, that works too, either way. So I'm going to save zero. And if read, get back out zero. Or I can save one and read back out, I get one. There you go. That is the register system in its entirety. Now all you need to do is stack this in a very, very interesting manner. You'll see shortly. So first off, position one. Second off, position two. Third off, I really hope I actually stack this correctly, or this is going to be a little bit interesting. 
So I need eight of these, so I'm going to stack it seven times. That should give me exactly seven long. It's three wide, but that's fine. And you'll see why very shortly. One, two, three. Right. What's three times seven? That's the question. Expand. Oh dear, 21. <laughs> Not sure why I couldn't figure that out, but hey. Also, I want to contract one up. Because I'm going to be doing some world edit sorcery, so stand back. Far back. And stack seven down. Crap. Well, it was worth a try. Um, yeah. Well, contract one up. Stack seven down. Did that, did that actually work? It, it appears it may have actually worked. I'm, I'm surprised. <laughs> World of Sorcery has not failed me quite yet. Quite yet, I say. It will fail me, trust me. It, it's not like it's not like a secret or anything. Now the one thing that's kind of annoying. I never ever remember to do this, but you need non glowstone blocks at the bottom of all these. So guess what we're gonna be doing for the next five minutes? Breaking glowstone and replacing it with snow. Or iron or the building block of your own choosing. Yeah. That, it's gonna be fun. And there's really not that much I can say about it. Yeah. <laughs> Most exciting commentary you've ever heard in your life? <sighs> well, time to begin the strategy of meta commentary, because that's what I've resorted to throughout the rest of the series. So, yeah. Today I'm going to start talking about how my commentary is lacking. Why? Because it is. I'm talking about commentary. I'm commentating about commentating. I mean, you can't get much less exciting than that, folks. And yeah, <laughs> it, it, it's just sort of my default strategy now. But whenever I just can't think of anything to say, I'll just talk about not having anything to say. Hey, after all, it's working, isn't it? I'm only one way from being finished. I hope. Uh, watch me just miss one thing, then I'm, I'll have to go through the whole thing again. And... <sighs> it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be exciting. But fortunately, it is over. For now. We appear to have finished one memory block, if you will. One McJiggerton. I'll call it that. So, yeah. Position one. And I'm gonna have to get a lot of this. Position two, because like I said, we're gonna be doing a dual feed system. Guess what that means? I need two of these, I know. Ah. <sighs> And there's also a particularly annoying thing, which is going to come up very shortly, but... I'll get to that when I come to it. So, so I want to flip it. Okay, long story short, world edit... Well, let's just say that plan didn't quite work as I had hoped. So I'm just going to build another one. And we're going to pretend none of the stuff that happened over there happened at all. So what you want to do, just because I didn't show this part on camera specifically, but, um, yeah, you actually just want to measure out from one under these McJiggertons, these output ALU things, that stuff that does things, that thing, whatever it is, you know what I'm talking about. The thing I've been pointing to for the last three minutes and stumbling about what I can't think of the name of. Exnor, that's what I'm talking about. <sighs> you know what I meant. And I'm just going to build another one, because, yeah. So I'm just going to make sure I have this whole thing set up exactly like I'm doing that one. It's definitely not because I completely forgot how to build it again. But that's alright. So, yeah. In case you forgot, what you want to do is something along the, these lines. Maybe not exactly, but you know. Somewhere along here is probably good. And you probably want to do like this, so that you can power the repeater lock. That's what I'm looking for. And do like mm, this. Yes, this thing. Same thing I did before. I'm just doing it again, because pasting doesn't like me for some reason. That's alright, though. That's alright. So... 
Now that I have another one, I think, yes, yes, position one, and we're going to get this right this time. Position two, and stack seven. Yes! <laughs> that part's done. Now, contract one up. All right, stack seven down, and... Dag nab it. So close. Contract one down. Stack seven down. Except use the actual stack command, not the non. Oh dear. This is this is quite what I had in mind. Um, yeah. So I'm just gonna scrap that. Position one. And yeah. Well, Ed and I aren't getting along today, but that's all right. So, contract one up, stack seven down. Come on! That doesn't even make sense. Alright, what's going wrong this time? What are you upset about? What's your issue? Alright, whatever, I'll just try to contract one up again. Stack seven down. Come on! Yes! <laughs> Way too difficult, but that's alright. So now I get to destroy all this random stuff I built when I didn't qu quite get world edit. Ah, oh, <laughs> I just realized I built this line wrong. That's all right though. It, I think I should be able to fix it pretty easily. So from this one tiny correct section, I'm going to use the magic of world edit and make every section correct. And. Things are probably not going to work out, are they? But that's... Again. Okay. Except that's supposed to be boss 2, not boss 1. Do want to stack? No. Expand. 1 down. <sighs> this is what you get when you mouse with world data, folks. Things just become... heinously overcomplicated. Stack 7 down. Please work. Damn it! <laughs> I don't even know what's going on at this point. This is... Uh, wait, I think I may see what's going on. Position two. Whoops. Position one. Expand one down. Yes. Stack seven down. Come on. <sighs> this is ridiculous, but that's alright. Like everything else, it's perfectly fine. It's just going to make this video unnecessarily long. <sighs> okay. Now expand 14 down, because I want to encapsulate everything I just did there, and stack 7. Whew, okay, finally, we have one of these memory cells actually in place. You know what that means? We get to do that exact same long, annoying, tedious process of replacing every single one of these glowstone blocks again. Because World Edit decided it didn't want to flip my blocks, it decided flipping I don't know. It didn't want to do it. So yeah. Commentary over. <sighs> Halfway done, yeah! <sighs> Most exciting thing I could possibly say. Hmm. It, I mean, I guess it's kind of fun doing that strange sort of U-shape to move from system to system, if you can actually do it. I was doing it perfectly fine before I said that, of course. The way the universe works. And... Actually, can I reach from here? Ha! Aw. Ha! Yes! Got it! And... Dang it! <laughs> Almost there. Okay. And I'm done. I'm gonna do it again, just cause... Ha ha! There you go. Now I can do the use thing, now that everything's of course done. So yeah. Now I've got this here, this is the first line, and it's in place. Now I just have to take the other one I built, and use the magic of world edit to move it into place. I... I would say what could possibly go wrong, but after everything that has somehow gone wrong, I'm really not sure if it's that wise to say that, but... eh. What could possibly go wrong? 
We're just moving world of stuff around, right? Right. So now it should go one off from this thing. So it should go right here. Paste. What do you know? It actually appears to have worked. And thanks to the epic failure of world edit, creating these two registers has taken the entire video. But yeah, these are registers. Each of these sort of towers is one byte. So I have eight total, so count it. I have eight bytes on each side. Each side's, of course, going to be part of the dual system. I'm going to be saving to both sides. As you notice, it's a bit interesting because it's taking inputs vertically. And I sort of spoiled it, hoping I didn't have to, but hey. It's going to go sort of like this, except I'm going to go one out so I don't have to do weird glowstone logic. And yeah. So, thank you. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video where things are going to... Oh dear, I just remembered. That just means this whole thing's one block off, isn't it? <laughs> I knew that was too good to be true. Well, might as well do that on camera. Because I did a whole bunch of other really ridiculous things on camera, so, you know, at this point, just just why not? Just why not? Mission 2. And the power of the slash slash move command. In action. Everything just moved over one. And now things are going to work out when I do the actual thing that connects these together. Whatever that is. Completely forgot. Bussing. That's the word. Yeah. So yeah, these are the basic register systems. Again, like I said at the beginning of the video, they're D flip flops with a read command. I mean, yeah, not much I can say here. I'm assuming you know how registers work, at least to some extent. I'll talk a little bit more about, you know, how they work, but you get the idea. For now, everything's done. Sort of. Not really. I sort of just have three random blocks of redstone, which are floating in air in an interesting sandwich fashion. I have sort of like a computational cheeseburger, I like to think of it as, but hey. You know, that's just the way I built this. So thank you, and I'll see you next time, where we will finish the computational cheeseburger. See you then.